I'm enjoying my breakfast outside. I just take like a, a cucumber and an apple, some blueberries. I blend it up. Uh, and my little ninja that I brought from the U.S. Um, and I brought a little converter, it's a little tiny little converter. I put it underneath the kitchen sink. And then whenever I want to use my little ninja blender, I just put it on the counter, plug it in. It's good to go. No problems. Um, Lynn, so today is Monday morning, and Lynn took um, uh, Thea to Taliban yesterday afternoon because she's sick again. Um, I'm worried. She's coughing. She has a fever. And this is nothing new with her. She goes through this like almost like every two months she goes through this it's, it's, it's pretty pretty um it's pretty incredible you know uh i don't really know if it's um the air if it's the humidity you know she, she's not 100 percent filipino she's like me and her i get the same exact thing i got you can hear it in my voice a little bit it's like a little bit of a uh, scratchy throat um, and it's, it, I get like this every time we get uh, rain, like lots of rain. <coughs> and it's been raining all week. You know. So, um, so they're there. I'm here, and um, I'm not sure if the driver's coming back here, and I'm gonna go get them, or are they gonna come back today or not? Because she's in the, at the doctor as we speak. She's in the um, she has a really good pediatrician, I have to say. Um, she really does. A good doctor. Um, and I really think that uh, she just can't handle the weather. Um, she spent, before she got sick, she was at Marianne's um, for the birthday party. And they were there for like three days. And so it's three days of her running around like a bat out of hell, um, sweating, I mean, I mean, sweating like you wouldn't believe, you know, soaking wet. Um, I don't know, you know, I wasn't there, but I can tell you that, you know, sweating all day, going into the air condition at night is not, not good for you. Um, and, you know, I can't, what can I do? You can't, you can't stop her from cannot stop her from going to see her relatives and her cousins. She loves them. We love them. I love them. Um, so it's just, you know, it's just like a, um, you know, you, you get, you don't have a choice. I mean, you do have a choice, but the, the alternative is she never sees them, never goes over there. It's not, it's not practical. Um, but we're gonna hopefully uh, here this week, I'm hoping from the embassy in Manila, and hopefully we'll be on our way maybe next week uh, to Manila to finalize the paperwork for her birth certificate and her, pass her passport. Um, I'm so looking forward to going home. I really can't tell you. Oh, I am looking forward to going back for a, for a while. And then once I'm in the U.S. Um, for like four or five months, I'll be, you know, begging to come back here. And that's just the way it is, you know. And um, you know, when I when I built this place, it was never meant for me. You know, it wasn't meant to be my permanent home. Um, we were setting this place up to be run as an Airbnb business, and it was. It was doing great. We were do, doing fantastic before the pandemic. Um, and my, my idea was to fly back, come back, fly back, come back, come back, back and forth a few times a year. Um, but, you know, the plans change, just like everyone else's plans in the whole entire world have changed. So you gotta deal with it, you gotta go roll with the punches. And um, I'm looking forward, you know, to getting back to the USA. Uh, my parents have never met my daughter. What? I mean, it's such a fucked up world. That you can't, you know, bring your daughter um, to the United States unless I go through all this rigmarole. It's unbelievable. 
you know, even when, you know, why, why are the Filipinos, why Filipinos can't, can't get a fucking visa to the USA? It's like, my God, you guys see all those people coming through the southern border? You won't have to get a visa. You won't, you won't have to get, you won't have to get any, no paperwork. <laughs> You'll get free health care. You'll get a place to live. Oh my God, only in the US. But for us, the legitimate people, um, we, we have the hardest time getting everything done. Jamie's working on the front front gate. It's really nice when it's done. I mean, it's just just going, just just taking off the rust and putting on the coat of primer and then uh, painting the black epoxy paint on it. It's already been a year. Can you believe it? So it's like once a year you got to go through this stuff. But you'll have nothing. You won't have a fence left. It'll be like a, rock, a crumble, a uh, pile of uh, crumble rust, you know, if you don't um, maintain everything. Uh, so, yeah, let's, want to see the fence? I'll show you. What happened? Oh, you going home? It's break time. No break for you. How about this? You're going to be able to turn it and move it yeah. after you paint it shut? Yeah. Uh, off I pay, so off you pay. <laughs> I told Sammy every time I see black paint, I don't know what it's five peso deduction. Ah, no problem. <laughs> so easy. Huh? Because of the hunt. Uh, it's good. Yeah. The rabbit is into the outside room. He did? Yeah, too. Oh. The white one? The white, uh, the white, big white. Uh, uh, did you get it? Yeah, I mean, It's back in here? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, All right, I'll see you after lunch. Lunch time, guys. So, yeah, it's looking good. Slow. I, I don't know why he always has to do everything fast. I told him, don't rush. You know, hopefully we'll be able to move this thing. It's good. It, at least it'll last. Maintenance. I can't tell you. Um, I can't stress you, to you guys enough who, who own homes. Maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. You have to do it. Because <clears throat> someday when you go to sell your house, um, uh, it's going to pay back in dividends. All the maintenance that you've done on your property whether it's here in the U.S. or wherever you are in the world. If you own a home uh, and you think you're going to own a home for, you know, 10, 20, 30 years and not put any money into it on the maintenance, um, you're not going to have much to sell. And I always look at real estate as an investment. Um, I've sold homes in the U.S. for a long time. And uh, I could sell a house, right, that has never been updated in 50 years. It has, you know, a kitchen from the 60s or the 70s, uh, bathrooms, tiles, everything. But, they, but, but if they've been maintained, they're clean, there's nothing broken, the roof is good, the heating system is good, the floors are good, the walls are good, the windows are good, no rust, no... No termites, no this, no that. You're going to get a lot of money for your property. More than you did would, would if you, if someone had a new kitchen and a new bathroom and they didn't put a new roof on, they didn't put a new heating system in when it, when it was breaking down. All that stuff matters. Anyways, that's it for me. Peace out, guys. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.